back to Stylish Niger YouTube channel. I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing to Stylish Niger YouTube channel. Thank you for all of the love, for the support that I've gotten here on YouTube. I appreciate every one of you that has hit on the subscribe button of Stylish Niger YouTube channel. I actually don't take it for granted. Thank you so, so much. I would say that over and over again. Okay, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to do a teardrop neckline. So you can see the picture up there. So that's actually called that kind of neckline. That could call it teardrop. So I've done it before in one of my videos about trendy necklines. So today we're going to be sewing it using a yoke. So you can see it is the, the, the tutorial is kind of a little bit tricky. So we're going to be working together. So all of the steps we are going to be seeing how we are going to achieve that um, particular neckline. If you are new to Stylish Niger YouTube channel, this is the first time of you coming across Stylish Niger YouTube channel. I will appreciate you hit on the subscribe button and then hit on the bell also to get an update whenever I upload a new video. So that's just like basically the essence of hitting on that bell. And then for my online classes, if you want to register for Stylish Niger online classes, you can see my number scrolling through the screen. Just send me a message on WhatsApp. Presently, we have about six different classes right now six or seven I will, i'm gonna name them first of all we have the ego padded ego madame blouse for those of you that want to learn how to sew madame padded blouses we have that class and then we have a ready to wear class for people that want to go into a ready to wear business so you can see this dress that i'm putting on people that sew and sell online you can register for that class and then we have a corset class for people that want to learn how to sew perfect corsets and then we have a an intermediate class for people that can sew and they want to improve. And then we have an advanced class for people that can sew already, but we want to learn some specific styles. And then we have a trouser and a jumpsuit class and then a beginner's class. Okay, seven classes. <laughs> Almost lost, losing count of them. Okay, so just send me a message on WhatsApp. And then you can also follow me on all of my social media platforms, Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, all at Stylish Ninja. So thank you so much. Let's just get straight to the business of the day. Okay, so I'm going to be making this yoke. I'm going to do it in two ways. The first one, I'm going to do a pattern. I'm going to show you how to do it in a pattern for those of you that want to make use of pattern directly and then how to do it in a pattern and then somehow like a freehand method. So I just want to carry everyone along. So for those of you that are, because the pattern method is kind of a little bit advanced. So I just want to carry both the advanced learners and then the intermediate learners along in this video so that's why i'm going to do that so i already had a, a pattern that i made earlier on so i've made the draft like the draft here so i'm going to replicate it here and then carry everyone along just like i explained so i'm just going to place it here and then i'm going to open up so i'm using the princess that pattern so you can use any pattern of your choice so i'm going to so you notice i just i had to draft it on both sides because we are going to be um, working on the pattern. So the first thing you are going to do for this um, for this pattern is we are going to cut it. So like I said, in two ways. The first one is I can decide to to cut out my pattern first. So and then sew and then that is what I'm trying to say is open up my pattern. So that's couple it and then we we'll come out and cut out the teardrop on it. So that's a very simple and easy way to do this. So, but first of all, before I continue, I'm going to do it in a pattern form so that those of you that are advanced sewers can actually use this method. So that is why my pattern, I'm not going to be cutting it. So I'm going to draft everything just like the pattern I showed earlier on it. Okay. So the first thing on this pattern, what you are going to do, I'm going to come, the first thing, we're going to draft out our neckline. That's the first uh, basic neckline. So I'm going to use... 3.5 you notice that the neckline is a little bit wide so this is 3.5 and then i'm going to come down and use about one inch to to drop down so this is like a basic neckline that is inside this pattern so i'm not cutting out anything from this pattern i'm not going to cut out anything So that's our basic neckline. So the next thing we're going to do, so for the cut, for that slanted cut, it's going to come 
from this armhole point. So you are going to determine how wide you actually want it to be. So I'm going to take from this armhole point. So I'll make use of a pencil so you can clean. So from this armhole point, I'm going to come down with about, so this you can eyeball it however you want to. So I'm going to come down with about one or two inches. And then from this point, it's going to cut through just a, this is our bust point. It's going to cut through a little bit of our bust point and then it's going to come and go into our ample, uh, sorry, our under bust part. So I'm just going to freehand it first before I do, I use it is ruler so it's going to come like this and then it comes like this and then it's going to come a little bit above the arm the under bust so like a slope so i'm going to highlight it now So I actually forgot to mention, so these are the fabrics that I'm using, my Ankara, my lining, and then the tool that I will use. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to highlight now with my marker. So this side is a little bit curvy, so I'm going to use the curve part of my ruler like this. And then I'm going to blend it into this part. So you see what I have. So this is the, the slanted cut that we have. Okay, so we have one down. So the next thing we're going to do now, we're going to create out the tear drop on it. So after cutting out, so this part is this part is going to the whole of this part is going to be Ankara. So this part is the yoke part that we're going to work on. So the next thing we're going to do now, we're going to create out our tear drop. So for the tear drop, I'm going to come to the nip of the armhole here, and then I'm going to take make a straight cut. So this is the center of my pattern. You see my pattern paper is folded. So the slant is going to come one inch or half inch above um, after the the cut. So I want you to note that. So I'm going to make it like half of an inch here. So this is the half inch. So I'm going to make a slant from this point like this straight from that nip. It's going to come like this. So I'm still going to curve it. It's not going to be so straight. So the next thing, so after the, the cut, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create my teardrop here. So in creating my teardrop, so this part, like I told you initially, I said it's not, it's not straight. So I'm going to use my pattern curve to create out a bend. That's like a, a curve. So you see it's not straight. And then I'm, you are going to determine how wide you want your teardrop to be. So I've done this kind of neckline before. So you determine how wide. You can use uh, 2 inches. So it depends on what you want. Or you can use 1.5. So from this part now, I'm just going to freehandedly create out my teardrop like this. Like a curve. You understand? So it's like a curve. Like a, a, a round curve like this. And then it comes into, so this is my uh, cut. So it comes into this part like this. So it's going to sit here. So it's not going to join that part completely. So I've created it out. And then the next thing, we're going to create out the other parts that we're going to replace with Ankara. So all of this is just, for you bringing out your creativity to life so that's just the whole thing about this pattern so i'm going to use two inches like this from this point so i'm going to make another slant into like the the edge of that part so you see what i have so from this point like this i'm just going to bring out the curve and then I'm going to slope it into okay so it's like my camera did not capture that part so this is the teardrop so from this point I'm going to create it into this point just like I did so I left a little bit of inch so when you stitch it to it will cover up so on this part, so this part also is not entirely straight. So I've 
I just used the pattern that I just made it straight, and then now I'm going to curve curve it out. So I'll, I'll just I'm just trying to use my free hand to do the curve to achieve the curve first. So at the end of the day, so this is what we're going to have. So now I'm going to label all of my patterns. So this part is going to be lace or my tool. And then this part is going to be Ankara. This part is going to be lace. And then this part is going to be Ankara. And then this part is going to be Ankara. And then this whole part is Ankara. So at the end of it, for an advanced learner, all you have to do is you go ahead and cut out all of your pieces and then you put them together so you get the result but i'm going to do it in a more simple and easy way so what i'm going to do now so i'm not going to i'm going to cut and sew before inserting the whole of this drama that we made here so i hope you understand so what i'm going to do i'll cut out my pattern normally so i'm not cutting any of this so i'm just cutting just the same way i will cut out my pattern and then this is my pattern so what i'm going to go and do i'm going i will go and join them together that's i'll transfer this to my my fabric that i'll transfer to my fabric and then sew it as in cut out my body and then sew it and replace so when i'm done sewing them that is when i'll come out and cut out my yoke and then the whole of this drama so i hope you understand what i'm trying to explain Okay, so I finished stitching my pattern. So I've joined the sides to the center of my princess that. So I'm just going to take my pattern like this and place just for us to see. So you see the side. So the next thing we're going to do now, so like I said, I'm just going to take this out. So I'm just trying to use this as a guide. So I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut it in a free, with a free hand form. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take like this. I'll come to the under, so I'm co I'll come to this point like this. I'll mark like this. And then this is my under bust. So make sure you put that into consideration. So this is my under bust. So from this part like this, it's going to cut through And it's going to come above my under post and then it enters into this part like this so if you want to do this kind of a pattern make sure that your your fabric you you add enough allowance to it or else after sewing and stitching you can truncate it and then at the end of the day it's going to be small so if you are not going to be doing the direct pattern make sure the length you increase the length you increase the width with enough allowance so now I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to cut this out now like this. So this is my piece. So this part, I'm going to work on this part now. So I'm going to take my, my pattern from this point. I'll just place it like this. I'm going to cut out this part because this part is, is, the, is the yoke. I'm going to replace with a yoke. You know, this part is a yoke. I'll use my tool. I'll replace it with my tool. So the teardrop part. So I'm going to take this like this. So I'm going to cut out the teardrop part now. So I want you to please take, pay attention to this. So all of this you have to. So what I'm going to do because this part is my original piece. I'm going to go into the teardrop a little bit. That's what I mean is I'm going to cut it from inside because I don't want this part to get truncated. It's better for me to increase my lace than for this part to be too small. So I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. So on this part, I'm going to take this other square one out. So but before then, let's cut out the... So this is the teardrop. So you see it. I'm going to replace this one with a lace. And then this one is still my Ankara. So you see it. So this part I'm going to take out from this one. So 
So I'm going to cut it out. So you just cut it out straight like this. So this one is going to remain like this. This one is going to remain. Why this one is going to remain like this also? So this is going to be a lace, a tool. It depends if you are using a tool or a lace. So I'll replace this, I'll stitch it here. This one is will remain this Ankara like this, and then this comes back into this part like this. It comes back, and then this is a two. So I hope you understand it. So now I'm going to transfer my pieces now. So this two. This one is original, it stays like this. Okay, so I want you to see, so I finished cutting all of my pieces. So you see what I have. So this center one, this one, remember this original one, I, I, I'm going to use this as the lining. So I cut it together like this. So I'm just going to place both of them right side, facing right side like this. So I'll take this out now. So I'm going to join, go and join my pieces. So this is a very simple process. It's just that it's looking a little bit technical. So you see, I'm going to take this. I'm going to show you how to stitch them. I think we should just, just go back to the machine. So you see all of my patterns. So I'm going to start stitching. So this one, in order for you not to get confused, you can decide to leave the pattern on it. That's your your draft. So what I'm going to do, I'm, I, I took out this thing. So this, I'm going to sew them. I'm just going to sew them one at a time. I'll keep this on the side. So I'm going to take this like this. I'll put it here. Like I told you, I'm using the other one as... So I'm going to blend that part a little bit. So I blend out that part. So I'm going to take this like this. I'll place it here like this. And then I'll take this and place here. So I hope you understand and get what I'm trying to do. So I'm going to start stitching. So my paper, because I have allowance on my tool, so I'm not afraid to stitch on the paper. Okay, so you see, so you see how it's going to look like. So the next thing I'm going to attach my tool to it. So before I do that, I'm going to trim everything that looks like an like excess. I'm going to trim it out a little bit. Okay, so we're going to start stitching now. So I'm just trying to hold my tool. And then I'm going to take it like this to so this part, like this. So at the end of the day, this is how it's going to be. So I'm going to take it facing back like this. So I'm just literally going to sew this that's along this line like this. So you can decide to do it one at a time. That's you can decide to put it just the way I showed you earlier on and then stitch it down and then cover it up with this. Or you can decide to do the both of them at once so i'm going to try and do it at once so i'm going to hold this tip like this so this part is really deli delicate so i'm going to take this back so you are going to try to make sure that you are not stitching on your tool that's this other tool but this other one you are going to stitch on this side I think we should first stitch it down once. I think it will be easy. It will be much. It's going to be much more easier that way. So I'm going to take this like this and I'm going to stitch it down first, just to secure it down. And then I will now use the thread to trace it. I think it's better that way. Okay. So you see, uh, I finished stitching it just like I told you. So you stitch it on one side. On the teardrop part so you see how it is looking so the next thing we're going to do now is for us to cover this place so in doing that you have to be very careful so this part the whole of this tool is going to go into this tiny teardrop now so you have to be careful you have to open it up so you see what i'm trying to do i'm trying to be very 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 careful to 
push this into it and make sure that I'm not stitching on it, you understand? Because if it's once you stitch on it, so what I'm going to what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to stitch this thing small, small. So this tiny part that's like the, the most delicate part. So I'm going to place it like this now and then stitch it first. You understand before I continue with the the white part. So I'm going to place it like that, making sure that the whole of my tool is inside that tiny hole. And if any mistake. I stitch on it, that means you have to lose it again and then start. So I'm trying to hold it on this side and then making sure that the other one is down. So I pray and hope I don't stitch on it. So I'm not going to open it, I'm just going to continue like this now. I'll take this other part like this. So I just wanted to turn that one so I'll be able to do it neatly. So this I'll take, I'll push my tooth properly inside and then I'm going to go ahead and stitch it to the end like this. So I'll go ahead and do that now and then show you how the outcome looks like. Okay, so I'll finish stitching. So the truth of the matter is, this is the back. Trying to turn, turn this was a little bit difficult, so you have to be very patient. And trying to turn it out. So the next thing, I'm just going to place this like this. I want to cut out the neckline. So I just want to put it close. So I'll cut it out nicely. So I'll cut out the neckline. So the next thing, I'll take this side. I would go and join it. So the way to join it is, is a simple process. So I'm just going to place this like this. In joining it, I'll place this like this. I'll just negotiate the cuff here like this round to this tip and then I'm going to use my lining okay so this is the lining so I'm going to place the lining like this and then I will sew I'll go and sew it and then bring it back and show you and then we'll join it down to it okay so I've joined it together so you see how it is looking the back so the next thing I'm going to join this like this. So I make sure that I'll make sure that it's correspond with the dot line. So I'll take it ahead and join it. And then I'll so I finish stitching it. So you could see how it looks like. So you see the back. So you see how this part is looking. So I missed a little spot there. That's my thread is showing, but normally it's not supposed to show. But so you see the back. So from the original picture. The net that was used is not a transparent net, so I want you to note is is a a a, a lace lace that was used, so it is covered. So a cup was added to the bust area to to help give it a lift. So I want you to note that. So just like you do in your illusion corset, when you use a net and then you add cups under of it, so that was what was done in the original one. So if you had you and don't use uh, if you are doing yours don't use transparent net if not you will not be able to add cup so if you notice this part because the cut cuts through the bust area so use a dark that's used like a, a lace that is covered and then you can now add your cup inside on the boot part so to give it that lift so i hope you understand everything that i've done so i'm going to just hang it on the mannequin now for you to see and then this down part when i was doing it so I noticed, so my own, this part is not very round. So please put that into consideration. So when you are, you are trimming, make sure that this down part of your, to so let it be very curvy. So with that, you see it will, it will come out more. So mine is looking, it's not very round like the original picture, but please just put that into consideration also. So I'll just place it down for you to see. Okay, so at the end of the day, so you see how our teardrop, um, blouse looks like so like I said when my the truth of the matter is my mannequin is a plastic mannequin So it was really not it was very difficult for me. It was not easy for me to Attach dress on it. So it so that is why you see it's looking like this So like I said when you are doing this don't use the transparent tool so because if you use the transparent tool so you see the whole of the mm -hmm. Unless if you want to use the transparent on fabric you can do that but so you see 
at the end of the day, so we got the concept of the teardrop neckline, teardrop neckline. So thank you so much. So if you find this helpful, so I'm just trying to fit her into to fit her. <laughs> so thank you so much. <laughs> just thank you so much. If you find this video helpful, I will appreciate if you will hit on the like button to make me know you appreciate what I did in this video. And then if you have not subscribed, please subscribe to Stylish and Girl YouTube channel. So thank you so much. You can drop your comments on the comments section. So I'll do well to answer all of your comments. So thank you so much.